Now, the tune that I think really did it for you because it created your only double where you won both the road match and the national monarch title. And I think it swept everything before it was a tribute to Winston's Simon. Talk about that tune for us. Well, what a tune that was, Winston's Spree. I remember that night we had Spree on stage. And when I sang a certain part of the song, Spree came in with the pan, and the place went wild. A wonderful composition, a wonderful tune. Spree Simon. I, already, I, don't, I don't remember it anyway. Well, seven out of eight steel bands played that in the finals of Pan that year from so many steel bands that had used it as their tune of choice. It was almost like the test piece for that year. And I think it was a fitting tribute to you, the number of steel bands that played that tune. And it was also fitting that the, the band that copped the title that year, Hatters, the Hatters, played that tune and played it so efficiently. I often wonder, um, besides Hatters, if any other band from South ever won that, that competition. you remember this? Well, Guinness Cavaliers won it in the early 60s. Mm -hmm. And beside Guinness Cavaliers, I think Hatters was the only other steel band from South to win a panorama. Fonclair, unfortunately, has been the bride mm -hmm. on more occasions than, than they, they would have liked. But uh, the two bands that have done it is uh, Hatters and, um, and Guinness Cavaliers in the early 60s. Yes, well, uh, I think it's wonderful to think that um, Hatters won that competition with my tune, Spree Simon. Now, some people have said that Kitsch could only make road march tune mm -hmm. and he could only make bacchanal tune. But looking through your career, we have seen a brand of social commentary that is unequaled. And not only unequal, but never short of music. Trinidad time we mentioned before. But even tunes like The Carnival is Over, which I think to be one of your outstanding little ditties. Tell us about that side of Kitchener that, that, that can compose social commentary. Oh. I think I'm very good in composing social commentary. I compose many of these tunes, but you see, sometimes when you go into this, you get yourself in a lot of controversy. You know, and that's the reason why I just stay off of this. Well, so you can talk bluntly. Let's take a tune like Not a Damn Seed for them, yeah. where the prediction was clear and it was accurate. Do you feel that that has affected you in any way? Well, it has. Uh, I, 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 I got um, a lot of enemies to say that thing in those type of tunes, you know. And I think as an artist, you want to be right there with everybody. You don't want to be on any side, you understand? Mm -hmm. This election was like war among them party. When I was more than sure, they were not ready. Hustle Phillips said, tell them that the last of PNM, but when the rest complete, is he went up with other seed. I, I, I don't go in that anymore. And let's talk now about some of your really big okay. hits. Sugar Boom Boom. I mean, that was your biggest seller to date? Sugar Boom is my biggest seller to date. No sugar boom boom come to me like Reno Rama. It's a strange thing with, in my career as a Calypsonian. Sugar boom boom, Reno Rama, and this jazz tune, Calyp jazz, they all saying the same thing. When I sing Reno Rama, it was the last tune I composed. I composed, you know, I'm not going to San Grande, not going to Toko. That was my last tune. I didn't know, I didn't know what to sing. Mm -hmm. And I started singing this, you know, I didn't so care about it. I, while going to Toko on the road, I composed, you know, 
I didn't care much about it. The, the song I care about in those days was a song called 73. Ta da da ta la 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 da lumba, da lo 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 ba bombe, la da lo, la da lo. La ba di, ba la ba 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 lumbi, ba la ba 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 lumba, la lumbi. Bi bi li bi li ba bi ba, bi 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 ba bi ba, bi bi li lo bi lo da di lo da di lo da di lo ba 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 da, lo da lo da li ba li ba li ba 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 li ba, li da lo bi li ba bi li ba. Long, 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 long day. 73. That was the tune you thought was going That was the tune I thought would make it. Well, Reno Rama was the last tune I composed on that album. Sugar Boom Boom was the last tune I composed on that particular album. I didn't want to sing it. The last tune. It was the last tune. I didn't want to sing it. I went by What's New. Edward, yes. Yeah. And we start talking and talking and talking. And uh, around, that, uh, in, around the same time, something happened. I don't know how it happened, can't remember. But Rena Rama tune came up. That's not Rena Rama. Um, so, 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 boom, 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 boom. It came up. And it was a simple thing. It didn't take me any time to compose uh, because I didn't think anything of it. But the best joke is this. When I went for rehearsal, Watson tell me, say, boy, the band like Sugar Boom Boom. <laughs> well, I was offended because I said, how, how you can like that tune? That is my worst tune in my mind. I ain't telling him anything. Yeah. Audrey, where you get that sugar? Well, sugar boom boom leap and went away. I tell you something. It's the first time that I had to sell records from the factory. This was the biggest joke. Straight from the factory. From the, I, could, I had no time to take the, the records from the factory to the shops. While, they, while, <laughs> while they're pressing the record, you have the, the, uh, the record produced shop the, the shop owners. The shop owners are standing in line. And as 50 come, they say, oh, hold it. They say, I want a 50, 50. <laughs> and the man making a, making a record, tap, 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 pressing the record. 50 come again, farm the record. It's the first time ever happened in the history of record selling in Trinidad. Audrey, every time you wiggle. Darling, you put me in trouble. You torture me. Kitch, there are so many great tunes that you have that when one comes to mind, I suddenly have to take you back in time again. Yeah. And I just remember Trouble in Arima. How could I ever forget that? Oh gosh, Trouble in Arima. That should make a lot of trouble. <laughs> Understand? I, I, I wasn't um, in England. I sent that down, trouble in a river. I go find them. It's trouble in a river. It's trouble. They beat me. It's trouble. Well, his mother. It's trouble. Tell me, mama. It's trouble. And his sister. It's trouble. And his brother. It's trouble. Don't surrender. It's trouble. Okay, I also want to talk because I know a lot of people are going to be ex waiting to get a taste of this. What is the pan tune that Kitch is going to be bringing for 1992? Well, the tune 
is not far off now, so I could expose it. It's called um, The Bee's Melody. Climbing up a mountain high above the sea, find myself approaching a high killer bee. Climbing up a mountain high above the sea, find myself disturbing a high killer bee. They bite me on my chin, bite me on my hand. The noise that they making, it sound like steel band. Because of my love for music, I refuse to run. But the bees were not sympathetic. They sting me for fun. <laughs> vroom, vroom. Kill a bee bite me. The kill a bee sting me. Them kill a bee dread. Vroom, vroom. Kill a bee choke me. Them kill a bee choke me. All over me head. Well, I feel in the pain, but I get in a vibe in my brain. Mama, you, I start to dance. I start to prance because the buzzing of the bee formed this beautiful melody. Surely the bees melody. <laughs> Could you have another hit on your hands again? Yeah? Yes, yes. I think so. Now the other aspect of, of you is your showmanship. Yeah. A lot of times you may even hear a tune on your record, mm -hmm. but to see you perform it, to see the way that you would put it over, how much effort, how much thought do you put into your presence? Is it something spontaneous? Well, I I leave the tune. As a matter of fact, when I composing a tune, I act while composing. So it's natural when I start singing that song to do the, the action. With me, I want to romance you. You must agree. You're driving me cuckoo, girl. Can't you see? My love is really true. I got to be. They want to control you. Looking at you, I get a sensation out of the blue. You're all emotion. Dance with me. I want to romance you. You must agree. You're driving me cuckoo, girl. Can't you see? My love is really true. You want to control you, no care at you. I get a sensation out of the blue. You're all in motion. You got to shake your body line. Make no mistake. You got to cry. For goodness sake. Die. You got to shake. So many tunes to talk about. There can be no end to, the, to your repertoire. And 
I, I, I look at it that how can we pay tribute to a person who has contributed so much music to this country. I dare say without your contribution, the steel band and the Calypso art form could not have reached where it has reached today. Perhaps you can give some words of advice to the up and coming Calypsonians. Well, you know, it's a hard road in Calypso today. Now, long ago, when you had uh, about 12 Calypsonians, it was easier. Today, you have approximately 500 Calypsonians in Trinidad. Could you imagine? To raise to the top of that 500 is no joke. And you've always had this fetish, this, this um, inclination to compose something for the band. And yes. over the years, you seem to be always able to come up with another one, just when everybody thinks that it's all over. Yes, I, I, I love pan music, and I, 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 I seem to imagine carnival without pan is no carnival. So that inspires me to compose about a pan. Welcome to the live portion of Calypso Showcase. And uh, Kitsch, two tunes from your album we've talked about in the video clip, 12 Bad Joan and the Bees Melody. Yeah. Um, and for the benefit of our viewers, this is the, the new release by the Lord Kitchener. It's called the Honey and Kitsch. And perhaps Kitsch, you'd like to tell us about the two other selections on that album. One is called the Camera on You. What, what does that uh, deal with? Well, the Camera on You, it's a song indicating to the whiners to take it easy because you are being followed by the camera. Oh, you mean those people that go to the savannah yeah. and all they want yeah. to do is stand up in front of the TTT <laughs> cameras. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so the camera is on them. That's right. So is that a good thing? or? Well, um, it's just fun, you know. I suppose they will continue dancing in front of the camera. It's carnival, but I just thought of composing a song saying, the camera is on you. Who are some of the Calypsonians that you've been associated with over the years that have created an impression on you? Oh, well then I'll have to go back. Now you are speaking about people like Pretender, Terra, and there's a name that I, I always, think of as a great Calypsonian, the mighty bomber. All right, now we have some video clips by some of your fellow Calypsonians yeah. who wanted to give, you know, their own personal praises. Mm -hmm. And I believe the first one that we have queued up is one from no lesser person than the Black Stalin. Mm -hmm. The real high point in my career was that, that, that time, that day when I met Lord Kitchener. I think like, um, you know, my head was always open where I wanted to learn about this art form. I was able to go around with people like Unknown and I learn a whole lot from him. But meeting the maestro himself, I think was, you know, it, it couldn't have been a better day. Because I was able to really get him to understand at that point what the whole thing was about. You know, I, I, I met Kitchener in 1976. And I mean, when you check Black Stalin's career, 1967, a few months after meeting Kitchener, I was in the final already. Mm -hmm. You know, 1967 in the final, 1968 winning the Dong Dong King, 1969 being in the final again, 1970 being in, you know, and going to New York and all these things. And I think, you know, that was the most important, the high point in my career. 
And um, not only that, you know, I was being able not only just to talk with him, but being able to get close to him and see him work, you know. And it was so beautiful that I could have been around to see and hear Kitchener compose songs like Maggi, Mass in Madison Square Garden, The Bull. And I mean, like, when you get a peep into somebody composing something like that, I don't think ever in your life you could go wrong. You know, I, I've been able to, you know, see Kitchener take maybe problems, you know, of his own. And, and you know, and soon it into happy music. You know, I, I, I've seen Kitchener take a magi and a, a love song and asking his wife to come back, put on your morning duster. And I see a man win a road match with a love song mm -hmm. as far back as 1970. And I think, you know, I, I don't think anything would be, would be for black style in my whole career would ever be as nice as that. Being able to sit with him, I throw, talk with him, drive with him, and live under the same roof with him to learn the art form. A tribute from Thank Black you. Stalin. That, that, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> okay, we have another tribute from a fellow Calypsonian, this time all rounder. Kitch, so glad to have you around at this point with the youths. And I can't finish, I can't thank you for what you have done for me, Anthony Hendrix Nolwanga in Calypso. I cannot forget the year, 1967, on the 10th of January, 10 to 10, a Friday night, at number one Legion Hall, Richmond Street, Port of Spain. That is a night of nights. And the first night I was put on stage by Mr. Alden Roberts in your tent, will always live in my memory. Kitch, I wish you that God will spare you to live longer, the health and the strength, that you could bring more professional energy up to you. I thank you, Kitch. Thank you very much indeed, very much. Right, and we have another caller from the line, this one from Mofa, good evening. I'm from San Juan. San Juan, sorry. Yeah, good evening, I, San Juan. I wanted to say thanks to the kitchen in more ways than one. Um, this is short and speaking. Um, you know, I have had the pleasure of singing in Kitchener's tent. Um, I think two of my greatest years, you know, would have been um, 1978. I remember I was looking for a tent to sing, and I'd gone down to Rainorama. This is short pants, by the way. Yeah, I'd oh. gone down to Rainorama Palace. And I remember going into the palace and singing my contributions for the next year, for 78, for Kitchener. And Kitchener telling me, um, you know, great calypsos. He said, you know where Jazzy live in? Jazzy was the manager. Go and look for Jazzy. And as I left going out the house and I reached by the gate, he called out, you know, and said, wait, wait, wait. And Kitchener left his house, you know, put on a shirt, came down the road and went with me, you know, to Woodbrook to look for Jazzy. And um, I really had two great years. As a matter of fact, the, the only year I've been to the Savannah in the finals was in 79, singing from Kitchener's tent. And I remember some of the great songs. I mean, in 79, I particularly liked... Um, Symphony in G, and I think it was unfortunate that um, we had had the, 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 the no pan thing so that, you know, we couldn't get to hear Symphony in G on the road. Um, there, there, I mean, there are many, many, many um, Kitchener Calypso that I love. Um, I think the nation is supposed to be very proud of, you know, one of its eminent sons. I, too, endorse the, you know, the idea that Kitchener should have received a doctorate. Come on, Joe, move your feet. Get up and heal up your feet. Jump in time with the bar. Do the Joe, up and down. Do your thing, jump and frown. Yeah. Do your thing, jump and crash, die. 